Hi guys, SCRP.farm team is online. Today we're going to talk about the mains, how to buy a domain spending less than $1, how to pick up an expired domain and whether it makes sense at all. Also, you'll learn more about hosting and web servers. Learning how everything works. Start from new domains to learn how everything works. Your goal is to create hundreds or even thousands of sites. So, spending from $10 to $20 per domain makes no sense before you find the niche and see that your sites rank there fast. The cheaper is the better for the beginners. Also, let us remind you that there is no difference for Google what domain zone you use for the long term. If you want to buy a cheap domain, go to Namecheap. They have a great list of $1 domains. But don't forget that $1 price is for the first year of domain branding only. The second year can cost up to $10. But for mass page generating, one year is more than enough. Probably, Google will ban your mass page generated sites within the first 6 to 9 months. After you've found a niche and understand that you can rank sites there, start buying expired domains. Expired domains are previously used domains. Purchasing them does make sense since you can index up to several million pages on an expired domain for a few weeks. For a new domain, it'll be 10 to 30,000. It happens because the expired domains already have some authority in Google. And you don't need to invest in building up their authority from the CEO's perspective, which can take a significant amount of your time and money. By the way, registering expired domains costs exactly the same as registering a brand new virgin domain. That is if it's not sold by auction. Even if your expired domain has not been banned by Google, you'd better disavow all the bad links. If the expired domain was banned from Google, you can remove it from ban by disavowing links from spam resources using Google tools. Black, you have to export all your links to a TXT file. Then add a black links list and choose what you want to disallow. Save it somewhere accessible. Go to the disallow tool. Pick your domain and submit the file. Also, you can boost domain authority using Fiverr. Choose a backlink that links to your expired domain. Go to Fiverr, search for Boost Domain Authority Gigs, and pick an executor. What services to use to find expired domains? ExpiredDomains.net and Register Compass. In our opinion, Register Compass is the most advanced service for buying expired domains. When you've been registered on Register Compass, click Go to Domain Search. In Domain Name Filter category, you should enter your expired domain name. The domain name can start with your keyword or end with it, but it doesn't matter. Our advice is to pick contains. Domain name quality and limit top level domains can be left empty. Or you may pick whichever you need. Dictionary filter also doesn't matter. In Moz filter, we recommend you to pick more than 10 domain authority. If the result is poor, you can ignore this option just as you did with the other points in this block. Now about domain type specific filter. We recommend you to leave all options by default and change only auction type to buy now and set the price to less than $20. Do not forget that you need to buy a lot of domains, sometimes even thousands of them, so you have no time to participate in auctions and you have no budget to buy domains for $50 or $100. Indexed page filter just set Google indexed above zero. It'll be enough. Exact match keywords and domain blacklink filter can be ignored. From Majestic, you only need Trust Flow. It must be 10 or higher. Now just click Find Domains. Now you can see some new signs below. Click on Expired Domains and you'll see a huge table. Don't worry, find Majestic Trust Flow and sort it from top to low value. The second factor is the main age. Set the age to 3 plus. 
Also pay attention to black links count, it should be less than 200 to 400. If you want to risk, choose heavily spam domains and remove spammy links via Google Webmaster Console. When you've chosen your domain, go to majestic.com and input your domain to text box and press enter. Here, you need to look at trust flow and citation flow. Trust flow must be higher than citation flow at least by 10%. So, if you have CF10, TF should be at least 11. Then go to backlinks. Here we have all the backlinks on our expired domain. They are sorted by citation flow. It means that all the best backlinks are on top. So what we need to do is to take the first and the last five backlinks and analyze them. First of all, we need to visit websites of these 10 backlinks and see if those sites are still alive and real. Also, you need to look at backlinks types. Block comments are good if they're in relevant niche sites, and they should be unique. Directory links are good if they're in niche or local sites, and contextual links are good in niche sites because Google loves it. There are spammy comments, forum profiles, spammy forum posts, you should remove such links via Google Webmaster Console. Links from .gov sites or some popular resources like Forbes.com are a big advantage. Also, it'll be great if the links are in articles and look organic and the text doesn't seem generated. About do follow and no follow. Only do follow links provide link juice to your site. The nofollow links is created with noflow link HTML tag, which looks like this. The nofollow tag is basically a notice sign for search engines saying, don't count this. But not all do follow links are good. You should have some nofollow links too. Some links that you check could have been already deleted. It's okay if we're talking about 10 to 20% of all the links. If there are about 50% of them, it's not cool. Also check the date of link creation. Google doesn't love rapidness and such things. Age all of thousand links that were created in one week. We need to look at the anchors of our links. If you have the same anchor everywhere, that's a very bad sign. You should have more than 50% of the links generic, branded, and LCI anchors. The anchor text should not be the same. Last but not least is to check the historic index in Majestic. If you see that your site has had a lot of backlinks previously, it means that it could have been spammed earlier, and you better not buy it because of bad Google authority. And now that we've done all the backlinks, we need to check on page factors. Go to archive.org or screenshots.com and check them for the last few years. Did the content change or was it cosmetics? And how come now it has become some site in Chinese language? One of the main metrics is the presence on Google. Go to Google type info and your domain. If there's no information, then all pages have been banned. Now you must decide whether you should pick it and do a penalty recovery or just throw it away. To summarize, we can see that there are a lot of factors that you need to check before buying the expired domain. We've tried to tell you all about all these factors. But you need to remember that it's hard to find the perfect domain. So sometimes you need to compromise. For example, you can buy a domain with low metrics, but with powerful backlinks. Now that you know how to choose the expired domain, we recommend you to create five subdomains on your expired domain. An experiment to see how powerful is your expired domain. Try to create 4,000 pages and see how much time it'll take Google to index them. Then, add extra 50,000 and see how fast they will be indexed and repeat again and again till Google stops indexing your next pages. After you purchase the domain, make sure that your input correct hosting name servers in your domain register control panel and add domains records to your name servers. Otherwise, your sites will not work. So to summarize, start from cheap domains to research the niche. For example, .us, .info, .online, and etc. Buy 20 new domains to create sites with 40,000 pages each to test the niche. Haven't found the niche, haven't learned how to create sites and found the good keywords for the niche. Buy 3 expired domains to build big sites. Try to experiment with subdomains. 
Create site in the domain and add pages to it step by step. Create five sites on subdomains. In theory, Google will treat each subdomain as a separate site, so if one subdomain is banned, the other ones will work. Few more tips. Protect your contact info with privacy protection services that are offered by the main registrar. Usually it should be free. If your registrar wants to charge money for privacy protection services, it's time to switch to another registrar. Use CDN services like cloudfair.com to hide your IP address, and turn off mail server records in your name server settings because CF lives it as your original IP address. Choose yourself how to name your domain. Exact match domain and partial matching domain can be ranked better, but it doesn't mean that Brandon will have some problem with the ranking. After you bought the domain, you need a hosting. Install a WordPress and a mass page generator on it. If you want to install multiple WordPress sites, you can rent out a standard web hosting, but you have to make sure that it supports WordPress. But if you want to save money on the mass page generated sites, you should rent a web server or virtual server instance. We'll show you how to rent and set up a virtual server instance by showing you this option called DigitalOcean. But of course you can pick any other service, such as Hetzner.com, Valter.com, Online.net, Scaleway.com, or OVH.ie. Just pick up the one that suits you most. If you want to install 50 to 80 WordPress sites using scrp.farm, then 1 gig of memory, 1 virtual CPU, and 10 gigs of free disk space should suffice. scrp.farm creates virtual posts in WordPress, so even the amount of millions of pages will take less than 100 megs. Now try to imagine using some other mass page generator. I bet you can. Even the websites with 40,000 posts and 20 tags will take about 1.5 gigs, with over 500 recordings in the database. Just imagine how long it will take to create so many pages. Don't forget about CPU. One virtual CPU will not be enough for even five websites with this kind of plugin. It means that you'll have to spend a lot of money on the cloud server to create 50 mass page generated websites. With scrp.farm, you won't have to. Alright, so now we must buy a domain through Namecheap.com. But which one should you choose is a good question. So go to Google and enter Fake Keyword Generator, and pick up a website of your preference. Then go to Namecheap.com and pick Domains, Domain Name Search, paste your fake keyword and click Search. Select Discounted tab and pick up any domain. In the upper right, click View Your Card. Make sure that Who is Guard is on and click Confirm Order. Then Pay Now and wait while it's processing your order. Then click Manage and find your domain in the list. Click Manage again. Go to Name Servers and select Custom DNS. Enter ns1.digitalauction.com and ns2.digitalauction.com and click the check mark. Make sure you don't close this tab. Okay, so go to digitalauction.com. If you're a registered user, click login, then create droplet, select distribution, Ubuntu 16.04.64, standard plan $10 per month, and New York servers. Leave the rest by default. Choose your host name, then click Create. As soon as Ubuntu is installed, you will get an email with the root password and the IP address. Okay, we're done with the server, now for the software. Apache or NGINX, MySQL database, and PHP. You can hire an admin or use a variety of services. For example, serverpilot.io. By the way, we're currently releasing our own system, which will manage the entire process of creating websites. But until it's ready, we advise you to try Server Pilot. Go to the serverpilot.com and log in. Then click Connect Server button in the upper right corner. You'll then have to copy the info from the email. SFTP password is the same as the root. Now all the necessary stuff is being installed on our virtual server press Create App. 
set name as a domain name, set the main, click the WordPress check mark, enter a custom title, password, and email. It doesn't really matter. Now your website should be available within the next 36 hours. In the new tab, go to cloudflare.com to mask your IP address. Log in and paste your domain name. Then click continue. Check your IP address at digitalocean.com and paste it into the form. Then enter your domain name. Repeat the process, only this time the new domain name will start with www and IP will be the same. Click continue. Choose free website plan. Click continue again, approving change of default name servers. Now copy the first DNS and paste it in the name server form at namechip.com. Do the same with the second DNS. Confirm by clicking a green check mark. If you're interested in mass page generated sites, just sign up using your email or Facebook page and we'll send you the whole course for free.